Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Davidson. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm going to be walking around showing you some of the basics on your new Fusion Impact travel trailer. One of the first things to note is we've got a power tongue jack up here in front. This will turn on the light for the power tongue jack. This extends and retracts it. Underneath here, we have two knobs to turn on and off your propane tanks. Righty tighty will shut those off. Lefty loosey will open those up. We've got a new deep cycle battery there. If for whatever reason you lose your 12 volt, always check that inline fuse there. It's a possibility that will or could have blown for you. Generator compartment here. If you decide you ever want to add one of those to that. Exterior shower right there. Fresh water fill and hookups. The keys are going to be located around the kitchen faucet. That's where you dump your sewage and waste. Inch and a half valve is your gray. Three inches is your waste. You've got three different valves there because you've got a bathroom and back. Okay. Back here. That's where we hook up our 25 foot 50 amp power cord. We're going to see that in the back of the travel trailer. The additional hookups for the waste tanks and back. This is our sewage tank flush. This is our city water connection. That just simply means that's where we hook up our city water for our fresh water. Your fuel discharge nozzle for there, your tank for that. Behind here, we've got your on and off switches for your dispensing of your fuel, okay? When you wanna lower down your patio, you're gonna simply pull this pin, rotate the handle. When it comes down into patio position, that means the cables are gonna be attached. The cables aren't attached, it comes, it'll turn down into the loading and unloading position, okay? This is for our power jacks. Up and down switch, we kind of showed you that before. One of those had acted up and we did get that resolved. There's that 25 foot 50 amp power cord we talked about before. This is your fresh water fill right here where you fill your tanks, furnace exhaust. Do keep the little ones away from that as well. This is your back of your refrigerator. That's a condensation tube there if it drips out. Nothing to be concerned with. That's very, very normal. Okay, let's go inside the camper here. These buttons right down here are important because they operate your slides. Button on the right and left hand side of your slide outs and that's to roll and extend your awning. Overhead lights right there. Simple switches that you turn them in on and off. To operate our furnace, we're gonna push this a couple times. See the snowflake that appears? That's our air conditioner, up and down arrow keys for desired temperature. Furnace, push it one more time, see the wavy lines? Those wavy lines will indicate furnace. And same thing, up and down arrow keys. Look at that, furnace kicked right on for your furnace. Okay, we're gonna shut that off right now. This is your main control center right here. This is gonna tell us the various levels of the various tanks and stuff like that. Um, this will, we had a generator. This is where we'd start our generator from. This is just to allow us to select which tank for our uh, sensor. This turns on our LP gas for a hot water heater and then or our electric for that and that turns on our water pump. That's our remote for our TV or stereo there. That's all right there. Our cutting boards and the keys, as I mentioned, around the kitchen faucet. I'm gonna stick these actually in the sink so they don't go flying around and potentially damage anything. Stove, when you go to operate your stove, real simple operation. We're gonna rotate this dial to the ignition and rotate, there we go. You saw it fire right up. Gas is turned off right now. That's why it only fired up for a second. Your microwave, your refrigerator is real straightforward. All you have to do is push this button here. It's gonna to go to the most convenient power source. That means if we're plugged in, we're gonna to go to electricity. If we're not plugged in, we're gonna to go to gas. If you wanna force gas, leave this button extended. It'll force the gas operation. I'm gonna shut that off. So it goes to the most convenient power source for you. That regulates your temperature. You'll see the check come on initially, and that's just for gas. We're gonna shut it off so we don't use up any of your gas as she's traveling. Your controls for your recliners are built in the side of here. Heat, massage, and lights are right there. Overhead light switches for there. If any of these blinds don't stay up, all you have to do is tighten these little wheels to adjust those up and down, but they seem to function real good. Let's walk back here. There's our table for our dinette, which is right below there. Our ladder that comes with it in addition. Wall switches, our light switches, overhead light switches. And then we've got your up and down for the beds. Once again, you wanna fold those down and then lift that bottom bed up to get the other one to raise up for you, okay? We're gonna shut off all these switches so we don't draw on your battery. 
course, you know you have a little half bath back there. Okay. Your main battery disconnect. We're done using the camper. We're gonna shut this off right here. Reason we wanna do that is to preserve the life of the battery. So if a light or something else is draining it when you're going down the road, that'll keep that battery in good condition. Your breakers and your fuses are all located behind here. Your fuses are, are your 12 volt, your breakers are 110, and everything's marked and indicated for what they go to. It's a carbon monoxide detector. It is a gas detector. It tells you if there's ever a potential gas leak in the unit. If you hear that go off, you just wanna simply go to the front and make sure you shut your tanks down. So, you guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. This is just some of the basics on your camper to show you the basic operation. If you do have questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. That's what I'm here for. I'll be happy to walk you through any aspect of the camper. The best number to always reach me at is 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.